to this video where we will prepare a stable form and submit it using the post method and we will perform a simple calculation where we will be adding two numbers and displaying the result. So first of all, I have already started the one server. Then click on it. Open local host. Now I'll go to the one server once again and open the www directory. This is the home page open in Chrome. Now we are waiting for the double double folder to open. It's open now. I'll create a new folder here and call it form test. There it is. Now let's create a page form test dot php. I do want to change the font extension, so I'll press yes. Now open it inside Notepad plus plus. You can use some other editor if you want. That shouldn't be a problem. I'll close the unnecessary other tabs and now I'll write hello here. Save it. Open it inside the browser. Form test slash test.php Let's open now and you can see hello that is the content written on the page is visible which is necessary you should always check it stepwise and now we'll write form action is equal to form test dot php I'll be submitting on the same page method is equal to post so I've created the form here action is the URL of the page to which the form will be submitted in our case we'll be submitting it back to the same page that is the current page method is post we'll learn about that later on as I said this is an introductory lesson and one input type is equal to text name is equal to n1 break here and to input type is equal to text name is equal to and to put a line break result for the result, I will put another text field and put type is equal to text name is equal to result and I will make it read one day you can use a label if you want 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेर सबमिट बटन तो ये फिजिकल टी सबमिट वैल्यू फिजिकल टी एड नाउ रिफ्रेश इट एंड यू गेट द फॉर्म ओवर यू see all right six seven and submit as you can see the form gets reloaded nothing much is happening but it is getting reloaded now the first time the form opens there will not be any data over here so the user will fill something then when he submits the form the answer should come over here then the user can always change the values of n1 and n2 and resubmit so basically what we need to do is to detect the difference between first submission and resubmission of the form see how we can detect that or create a hidden control over here input type is equal to Hidden. Name is equal to check. What is a hidden control? A hidden control is used by the programmer to keep data that should not be visible to the user. It's not necessary, but it's used for his internal programming requirements. Now. Let's see what I'll do. I need to detect first submission of the form from and differentiate between the first submission and resubmission. So I'll start writing PHP code here. Double check defining a variable is equal to is set. Dollar underscore post since we are submitting the form by post. Name of the input type is check. If a variable name checked, rather uh, attribute name checked is found inside dollar underscore post, then we'll make it one, else make it zero. We are basically trying to detect whether the form is being submitted for the first time or is it being submitted, is it being resubmitted. The first time the user will not be able to write any value over there. The second time the values will be there. Now, if not dollar check, that is in case it is zero. print first the page is of being open for the first time else print post back the user has already opened the form and he is resubmitting it that is pressing the submit button otherwise it has been loaded for the first time let's see Reload the page. You get first return over here. Now I press the button, and I get post back. Just watch it. First time loading, you get first. I submit it, I get post back. What happens if I reload it, refresh it? I get a form submission confirmation, and it's still post back. If I open it first time. And refresh it; it will still remain on the first stage. So, basically, we are able to detect whether the add button has been pressed or not. Now, let us define some variables. Dollar n one. I'll make it blank. 
dollar L2 equal to blank and dollar result is equal to blank as well. We don't need to do anything if the form is being if the page is being opened for the first time. However, if it is post back, then we need to do the calculation and put the answers. There you are. Now what's this? I'll create a value attribute and print the value of the respective variables inside it. That is the question to the trick. Or maybe print. equal to dollar print dollar and two now in the result part I'll print to result PHP print dollar result. Dollar in one is equal to dollar underscore post. Score N2 in the zone. Dollar result is equal to dollar and one plus dollar and two. Now try this. Write something here. Two, eight. Press the add button. We have got ten. Change it. Seven. Will it work for negative numbers? Yes, it will. So we got the first time, the first part of it running perfectly. I will able to submit the form, access the data on the server, perform the calculations and do it. Now let's rewind a bit. Create a form. Give the action and the method attributes. Method is post in this case. I wanted the post back system. Action, we are resubmitting the page to the very same page where the form is being loaded now. I put a variable here called check. This is just for checking whether the page is being opened for the first time or it is a post pack. By post pack, I mean the add button is being pressed. Then we have got to the input boxes for giving the two variables n1 and n2. Then we have got the read one in text box where we are printing the result n1 equal to blank, n2 equal to blank, result equal to blank. These are the default values and will be set here when the form is loaded for the first time. And if it is being post back, posted back, then we will do perform some calculations and the variables will be sent, they will be printed here in any case. Now instead of text, I can make this number this one number as well watch this now but the 
becomes a numerical diagonal, you can use it. And it won't allow any non-numerical values to be entered as well, which helps in validation. Can I add a clear button? Let's see. So, copy and paste and make the value clear over here. So, we'll have two buttons, one will be called, one will have the value add and the other will have the value clear. Give them a name and give them both the same name. Option and name equal to option over here as well. What will happen? Now, this value will be available using the name just as we are reading all this. And if the value is add, I need to perform the calculation that we are already performing. And if it is clear, then I will have to do something else. First of all, let's check what happens when the form is being submitted. Dollar option is equal to dollar underscore post option I will simply submit the form and print the dollar option variable so that you can see what happens there you go option submit the form to reload itself see undefined index option press it once again and we'll get it it's add now and when I press clear it's clear so what do we need to do I need to keep doing the things that we are doing if the value of option is add and if dollar option is clear then just make everything black. Watch this. Make this blank as well. Now watch. This clear. Form gets cleared. Press add now. And then get calculation. See, I need to keep a double equal to over you. Made a blunder on that and therefore it wasn't performing well. Watch it now. Add. I get 14. Clear. Things good. Okay, that finishes it.